Right, read this because it's, it's the one he always does. If this goes wrong, it's plan B. Okay? Just come on, tight. Okay. You need to be able to see what I'm doing with my feet. Okay? So, look. I've got half guard here. Get my, get this. First thing, I'm going to go, look, look, this is potentially a hazardous position because however good I am, he can just put weight on me and he can headbutt me from here. And there's not a lot I can do to stop him. I need to get away from this position. It's very hard to submit someone from here. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's hard. All right? Likewise, because I've got an underhook, he has got a very clear path to submission here called a, a DRC choke or a bravo. Right? He'll strangle me with my own shoulder. First time anyone did this to me was in a competition which was in the autumn. I could still feel it the following year. <laughs> right? So it's, it taught me a lesson. I've never been caught in one since. All right? So I don't want to be there, and I've given it to him with the underhook, but that's it. So what I'm going to do, my right hand, um, it's my right hand because my right hand on the bottom. I'm going to reach down between his legs and grab hold of his instep, like with his shoelaces would be, on this foot. There. Yeah? And then this hand, he's going to reach round and grab the same place. Yeah? Then, this foot, my, the one that's further out, he's going to catch his heel like this and pull it. Now, can you see his legs are in a straight line now, his shins? Yeah? Pretty much? Yes. So I just bump him over my shoulder. And then finish it. Okay? So this is... Um, 2011 when the British Open no, 2012 won the British Open for both years. I did this sweep in every match. Okay? Again and again and again. So it works. Here. Right there. What he might do is wither me. So this arm, he underhooks my elbow. The elbow hooks my underhook. So I can't do that. See? I don't really care. Partly that's good because it's held close to me. So if I don't move, it'll move him as well. So my bottom hand goes down, move my head right towards his groin and grab his shoelace in. Reach down my other leg, my other arm sorry, and hold it. I can let go of this one now for a while. And then, this is the key. I get my foot, this one, reach over and hook his foot and pull it towards me. You see what's going to his hips? Mm. Pull my arm out, press over. There. I might, well, especially do the half guard by ending his half guard. But that's second, I'm on top, aren't I? I'll show you again. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. My half guard here. All right. There's different ways to do it. Some people do it this way. Some people, like me, will do it this way. It doesn't really matter. A lot of people do it that way. Let's do that. Right. So I'm here on his back. Sorry, I've got my arm on his back. I'm happy with that underhook. I get my bottom hand, reach down, grab his shoelaces area. There, see? Under his foot with my palm up. And then I pull myself down with it. And reach around with the other hand and grab it. Okay? Then this outside leg reaches over and latches his foot and pulls it toward me. Look at his, just bring your foot back. Look at his pelvis, see it's all kind of fairly relaxed. It's all gone tight now. As well, this is left, this hand has got more space now. So pull it out, and as I do so, turn him out, and look, last bit of this, my right leg, which is the one which is, which is in his half guard, I just step out with it. There. Okay?